Who? <laughs> it's me. I could sing some Adele. I'm just gonna hang out here until someone comes. Anybody? Anybody? I've been sitting here staring at myself for the last two minutes, waiting to push the live button, and um, I feel like I might need to make some makeup changes to myself. <laughs> Anywho, if you guys are out there, let me know. Oh, there's people! Hi, people! Oh, I'm so excited! Okay, Brittany Young, what's up? I'm gonna be, I know I'm gonna be like, who's over there? What's happening? Oh my god. Facebook, okay, here's the funny thing. I'm on, you know, TV for a living. This gives me more anxiety than live national television. I don't know why, but here we are. So, I think more people are gonna, hey, Terry. Um, I think more people hopefully are gonna join us. Oh, good, you made it. Gatry, did I say it right? I'm so glad you got on here. Hi, Janine. Oh, I'm so excited. So, um, I'm gonna really quickly introduce myself because I think there are some people here that maybe don't know me from before who saw me from the Zyron page um, and are wondering, why does this chick think she knows <coughs> how to tell us what's happening on a design team? So, um, my name is Beth Kingston. I am the design team coordinator over at Zyron, which is an adhesive company. I've been doing that for about 10 years. I'm also, um, this is their title, not mine, a craft expert on the Home Shopping Network. So um, I've worked with almost every company in the industry in some form or shape or another, and we all have stories to share. Um, Zyron just did a design team call a couple weeks ago, and it was while we were going through the applications that it struck us that maybe it would be helpful to share some tips and tricks about how to apply, what design teams are looking for, what companies want, etc. So, hey Suki, what's up? So I've taken some notes down here that I'm going to look at. Um, I also have terrible allergies because it's like 65 degrees in February, so I apologize for rubbing my nose. Um, if you have questions, feel free to type them out over here and I will try to answer them as best I can. Um, there are four topics that I want to cover um, and then like little individual topics underneath. One is the first one, photos, 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 and more photos. We're going to talk a lot about photos. The second one is your blog, your social media, how you manage those, what it should look like to be appealing to people. Um, third is how you interact with companies online and other people in the industry online. Fourth is going to be the actual application process. Hey, Katie! Fourth is going to be the, um, the actual application process. And then at the very end, I'm going to talk about what happens once you do get on a design team. So hopefully I'll cover what you're looking for in there. But like I said, if you have any questions, please feel free to shout them out. So let's talk about photos. <laughs> um, photos are the most the most important thing about applying to a design team. I don't know how else to say that. If you, it, you could have the greatest resume in the world, you could be the most creative person in the world. If your photos are not high resolution, high quality, clear, sharp images, um, good natural lighting, if they're not high quality photos, your application's not even gonna get looked at past the photos because that's what we're looking for as companies. We're looking for people who can promote our products, who make beautiful projects, and it's all about the photos. I, here's the other thing. I learn better by example, and I'm also a storyteller by nature, so if I prattle on about something, that's why. Um, but, so as a perfect example, I'm very lucky to work with some very big companies in the industry, I'm very, very grateful. Um, one of them, not Zyron, but another one, had this really amazing campaign they were launching, and this was probably about two years ago now. Um, I was so excited about it. It was another company I loved. I applied, and God bless them, one of the girls that manages their designers wrote me back. She was like, um, you, your photos. You need to work on your photos before we can actually include you. We think you're fantastic. We love you. It's one of my clients on HSN. They're like, you do a great job for us but you're gonna have to work on your photos before we can actually <laughs> let you be on our blog. So that was a really great wake up call for me. Um, it was a little harsh to hear, and sometimes we need to hear those things. So take a look at the photos. If you feel like you're not getting picked for design teams and you think it might be your photos, 
look at the photos of people who are getting selected. You can use Designer on Design Team um, as an example. We've tagged them um, on some of our most recent posts. Look at their photos and then go back and look at your own photos and see what the difference is. I want to show you. I saved it on my, my phone just because I wanted to show you. I'm going to show you a picture that I took two years ago and posted on Instagram and thought it was fantastic, right? It's like a Christmas ornament. I thought, oh my god, that's pretty cute. If you get a good close-up look at it, there we go. That was two years ago. This is a picture I posted yesterday. Do you see how much clearer the image is? Um, and I'm sorry about the glare on my computer, but hopefully that makes sense to you. So go back and look at your photos. If your photos are not getting any better, that's a sign. Have a friend who maybe isn't in the craft industry, um, but that you trust their judgment, have them take a look. We paid to have someone come to our, hey, Missy, what's up? We paid to have someone come to our house and <laughs> tell and give us a tutorial. She walked in the door, she looked at our camera, and she was like, that's your problem right there. You have an old camera that doesn't take good quality photos. If you can't afford a real high quality camera, there are online classes for how to take great iPhone pictures. Pictures. Do what you need to do to, oh no, did I freeze? There we go. Do what you need to do to improve your photography and that will make a world of difference. Um, if you have a friend who's a great photographer, see if she'll trade you craft products for photography. Whatever you need to do, photos, 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 photos. Hey Tammy, is what you, is the A number one rule of applying for a design team. Number two. Um, oh, look at everybody. Hi. Hey, everybody. Number two is your social, your blog, your social media. I think almost without exception, every design team I'm familiar with requires that you have a blog. Why is that? Because you can be posting, you can be writing your own blog post. Um, a lot of companies these days don't have the time to be writing blog posts every day. That's why they have designers. So you have to have a blog. Instagram is also becoming extremely important. Facebook is also important. So you need to have an active online social media presence. You need to post fre frequently because we check. Um, we had several people apply for the Zyron design team and would say in their application, oh, I haven't actually posted anything to my blog in six months, but I will if you pick me. Or I know Instagram is a requirement, but I don't have it. That's okay, right? Or I'll start a page if you pick me. That, that's not how these companies work. We, we want to see what you are already doing. We can't sort of push you to do it, if that makes sense. Um, we want to see how you're interacting. Hey, Linda. We want to see how you're interacting online in the creative space. And so those are all very important. Hey, Mary Ellen. Um, but, but on the other hand, and this goes back to me, know your limits. I'm old now. I cannot keep up with every stinking social media thing that's out there. I'm not on Snapchat. I'm not on Twitter. There's a bloggers group that I desperately have wanted to be a part of for two or three years now. I mean, desperately. All my friends are in it. They do this great stuff. They work with all these great companies. But Twitter is a requirement, and I just know I'm not going to do it. So I have to understand that I'm never going to be allowed on that team as long as they require Twitter because I'm not going to do it. So you need to know what your limits are and what you're willing to do, but you need to be out there in the social media space, Instagram, Facebook, have your own blog, be active on it, be posting, et cetera. Um, if you're doing videos, that's an extra leg up that a lot of people are not doing. So if you're comfortable doing videos, good on you. Hey, Marina, um, because everybody loves videos. The numbers and consistency matter. There are two websites that I want to tell you about. Um, Alexa, A-L-E-X-A dot -E com, and the other one is SimilarWeb dot com, S-I-M-I-L-A-R-W-E-B. You can get on there and actually look up your blog and see where you stand in the world, what kind of numbers you're getting, how you compare to other blogs. Those are, hey, Julia, those are, hey, Chris, hey, everybody. Those are two really important, um, Things that you need to know what kind of numbers you have in comparison to everyone else. And that means readers and how many fans you have on Facebook, etc. But those are two great websites. Alexa, A-L-E-X-A dot com and SimilarWeb.com. Great way to look yourself up. Um, think of your blog and your social media page 
as a portfolio. Katie said this yesterday and I thought she was exactly right on. Hey, Aaron, um, you can't just, if you want to be a designer in this industry, you can't just throw stuff up for the sake of having content. It has to be good quality stuff. So I recommend if you're someone that, that wants to show all of the projects you've ever made, actually start a second Facebook page, have your own personal Facebook page, and then start a second one that's just for your blog or just for your um, creative work. That way you can still continue to post what you want on your personal Facebook page, but think of your social media persona as your portfolio because that's exactly what it is when you're trying to reach out to other um, companies and say, hey, Brianna, all my friends are on. I'm so, I'm so happy. Um, okay, this is huge. And again, I just had to do this myself. <clears throat> I just applied to work with a company, filled out all the information, sent them my media kit, hit this, the go button, and then realized, oh crap, I'm not sure all the links on my website are still correct because I have a lot of links from HSN and when stuff sells out, they get rid of those links. And so I had to hurry, 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 go over to my website, make sure all those links were still active because and this happened, this design team call. If you have, here's my Facebook page, here's my Instagram page, here's where I was published and so-and-so, and the design team coordinator who's looking at you goes to click on those and they don't work, you're done. Because they're not going to take the time to research it. So you ha every time you apply for something, once a week, once a month, whatever, right? Hi, Raina, I know. Thank you, girl. You're the best. Um, make sure that everything is working because that's how people are gonna see, A, that you're keeping up with your own blog, and B, to see your other work. So everything, all your links have to be working, that's super important. Um, make your blog work for you. If you're not already doing this, every time you post a project, you need to be calling it by its correct name and either linking to the company's Facebook page or the company's website, or if you have an affiliate program, um, if you're on, if you're an Amazon affiliate, which I recommend everybody signing up for, um, I'm not sure exactly how their application process is because I did it a thousand years ago, but you ha post the name of something and link to it. Um, if it's the Xyron sticker maker, don't just put sticker maker or adhesive, put Xyron sticker maker link to their Facebook page or somewhere so that that's how it's going to generate traffic. Zyron may say, holy cow, where is all this traffic coming? Clicking on the Zyron Facebook page. If it's coming from your blog, that's going to catch their interest. So always, hey, Jessica, always, always, always name the products you're using, include a supply list, name the project you're using, hey, Chris, and um, link to it if you can, because that's a great, you can make yourself a little extra money if you have affiliate links, but that's what I mean by make your blog work for you. Already be doing those things so that when you do get looked at for a design team, you've already got all that stuff Ooh, in action as I break my stuff on the table. Um, if you have lots of pop-up ads on your blog, that's going to turn Julie Conyers. That's Julie Conyers. She's my, my partner in crime on the Zyron design team. She and I have been doing this for like a thousand years. I love Julie Conyers. Um, so if you have too many pop-up things on your blog when a design team is hey oh paula oh my god it's like old home week over here hey naomi thank you oh you're my friend you guys are making me feel so good i seriously was so nervous about this this morning and my husband's like uh <laughs> you do this on in real life and i'm like but i don't have to talk to the people hey mitzi um thanks girl so if you have lots of pop-up ads the design team company isn't going to take you because if they're having to go through all those layers to find the projects to look at they don't want their consumers to have to do the same thing. So really think about the kind of ads you're having on your blog. I get that it's making you money, but you just want to think about those things when you're applying for a design team. Hey, Tracy. Oh, good. Oh, you guys are making me so happy. <clears throat> um, look for ways to share. Okay, so this is the last and sort of what to do with your blog and social media. Um, if you, thanks, Paula Girl. Look for ways to share your projects. Lots of companies have... Um, challenges, contests, um, guest blog posts, be out there, be out there putting your name out there, putting your projects out there. We have, um, I know lots of people, there are two companies I can think of off the top of my head, my favorite things and Simon Says Stamp, who have challenges. There are websites dedicated just to 
challenges. I think if you Google craft challenges, you'll be able to find a bunch. Get your stuff out there. This is a great way to sort of try out for a design team without trying out. You can win prizes, you can win money, you can win guest spots on a design team, but it's perfect because it's one time. You can see what other people's applications, contest entries, whatever look like. Um, you're not committing to anything, but it's a great way to still be creative and also sort of get your feet wet as far as designing goes. Thanks, Tammy. Um, so look for ways to show your products. Any chance to work with a company short term so you can try them out and they can try you out is a great is a great thing as far as I'm concerned. Okay, now let's talk about <laughs> interacting with companies online. Companies as a whole, people that work with companies, whatever. Let me just tell you, it's a very, very small world. We all know each other. Every person that works at every almost every company in the industry, we all know each other. We've either worked together, we've had a drink at a bar together, we've been at consumer shows together. Um, thanks, fam. So it's a very small world. So the way you behave, the way you treat others is going to get around. That's all I'm going to say about that. Yeah, that is correct. Okay, so <clears throat> don't apply to every team that is out there in the world. I Here's a perfect example. Looking at Pam makes me think this. I love Graphic 45. I love the people who own it. I love the people that design for it. Pam designs for them. Their stuff is so amazing, but it's not, I can't do that. I can't make beautiful Halloween houses out of a piece of cardboard and then make it the most beautiful. I just can't. I know that about myself. I would never apply for the graphic, des graphic 45 design team because I would be setting myself up for failure. Um, I would never apply for a company that's a product. I, I'm not a sewer. Uh, so I would never apply to any sort of company ah, um, design team if I'm not a sewer. So keep that in mind when you're applying for design teams. The best thing to do is apply for design teams that use that are the companies that you already love. There are very there are a very few exceptions. Um, Zyron has an adhesive company. I mean, adhesive is adhesive is adhesive, and there are. I'm not going to mention any names, but there are some people that are got on the Zyron design team this time that hadn't used the Zyron machine before, but adhesive is sort of a little bit different. Um, if you love Lawn Fawn, if you love Sizzix, if you love Doodlebug, apply for those design teams. Don't just throw everything out there and see what sticks because that's going to get around. And I will give you a couple of examples. <clears throat> um, someone applied for the Zyron design team this go around that clearly copied and pasted from another design team that she had applied for and in the description to us, Zyron, the adhesive company, she wrote, oh my god, went on and on about how she really loves our stamps and paper. Okay, <laughs> so clearly you either A, copying and pasting isn't going to work, B, if you don't know enough about us that adhesive comes to your mind immediately when you think of the name of the company, you shouldn't apply for us. Um, Someone also misspelled Zyron seven times in their application with a Z. Clearly, she's not that familiar with the company. It's, I mean, it's a little bit of a joke and a little bit sad, but if if you are not, if it's not a company that you love, it will show. Um, and it's, if you, you need, so, so if there are companies you love, you need to follow them on social media because fairly often Zyron did not um, advertise for our design team outside of our own social media. Because why Why would we? Why would we want strangers that have never heard of us before? So follow those companies on social media. <clears throat> um, research them online. Uh, I, I'll give you another personal example. Uh, my husband and I do a lot of DIY stuff. We love to refinish furniture. On a whim, I googled Rust-Oleum because we use a ton of Rust-Oleum. Lo and behold, they have a whole other website just for creative people that you can join and enter challenges and get free product. I never would have known that if I had not, I have been a fan of theirs and I see them on Facebook, but if I had not done the research myself, I never would have found that. So research the companies, find out, <laughs> I know I'm a hot mess. Um, find out, so find out what they've got going on. Do they have community boards? Do they do challenges? Do they have their own affiliates? 
um, affiliate links. A lot of companies these days are doing their own affiliate links. So if it's a company you love, you might be able to make a little extra money. But do the research, stick to companies that you really love, and that's going to set you up for success. Um, back to what I just said earlier. And I, I feel everybody I see so far, I know is this kind of person. Be, just be kind. I mean, for crying out loud, be kind to each other. Be nice on social media. Don't be a drama queen. Just be happy to be here. Do a good job. Create beautiful projects. And that will go so far, you just can't even imagine. It seems like common sense. You don't want to believe that people would be that way, but we all know of people out there who like to cause drama and like to cause trouble and want to believe they're better than everybody else and see this as a competition. It's not a competition. We're all in this together. We're all here to create beautiful things. Be kind. Be nice to other people on design teams. Be nice to other people in groups that you participate in. Be nice to the people that work for the company. Julie and I can tell you some hilarious <clears throat> stories about people will come up. This happened last year at a consumer show. Um, this woman came up to us, was going on and on about how much she loves Zyron and how she was going to apply for the design team and then proceeded to tell us everything that Zyron was doing wrong online and with their products. <laughs> Guess who did not get chosen for the design team? Like, just, just think, think things through. Think that through. Um, just be kind to everybody. Be helpful. Again, if you're with Zyron, if you're passionate about Zyron and someone has a question about it on a community board, answer. Because you never know. Someone from Zyron might work there, be on there. Someone from the design team might be on there and might say, oh, cool, this chick knows a lot about it and sort of spread the word. Be helpful. Don't be a know-it-all. Don't be a drama queen. Um, don't badmouth people, companies, whatever, on other platforms because we can see you. <laughs> I'm not sure if you guys know that, but nothing is private on the internet. So we've had people who didn't get on the design team badmouth Zyron on other boards. We've had people badmouth our designers on other boards. And that word gets back and you're setting yourself up to never be chosen for anything. Um, oh, Naomi, you're so nice. Yeah, I, I can't believe sometimes that I have to bring that up. But guess what? Those of us who are nice and those of us who are in it for the passion, those are the people that are going to get chosen. Um, I mean, having good projects is also. But if you have the greatest project in the world and you are a pain in the you-know-what, you'll, you'll never be picked. Julie and I can attest to that. We've rejected quite a few people just because we know they're bad. Um, don't get dis Whatever you do, don't get discouraged. Be able to accept critiques. Like I was talking about my client that told me I had to improve my pictures. Take that as a gift because a lot of people will not tell you the truth. If you have someone that will tell you the truth about how to improve, take it and be grateful for it because otherwise you'll just keep doing the same thing. If you get turned down, do not feel, yes, you are exactly right, Naomi. These are good life lessons just in general. Um, if you keep getting turned down, do not get discouraged. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people apply for design teams. Don't worry about it being you. Just try to improve a little bit for next time or ask a friend if they can take a look at your blog and give you some tips, but be willing to accept the feedback and learn from it. That's that's what I did, and now, um, I'm not, I'll tell you now. I'll tell you who it is. So, <laughs> it was Cricket. Um, I've been selling for Cricket for five years. They had this huge Joanne promotion that they were getting ready to do. I wanted to be on it so bad because I love Joanne. They said, fix your pictures. I did, and now I'm on their Joanne. I mean, I'm on their Joanne um, project, and my stuff has been featured on Joanne and in Joanne stores, and that's like the greatest thing ever, but if I hadn't heard the feedback and fixed it, I would have lost it on that opportunity if I'd said, well, they don't know anything or I know more than they do. Hey, Jennifer. Um, so just take, take the feedback and run with it. Um, oh, okay. This is also very important about being kind. Don't just share your own stuff. Don't just talk about your own stuff. Share what other bloggers and companies you love are doing online, whether it's resharing something on your Facebook page or your Instagram feed, or if someone comes out to with a new product and you think it's amazing, share it. That we love Zyron. We love to see people excited about our product. And when people do it on a regular basis, that name sticks in our minds. 
Um, will it help you be picked for a design team? I can't guarantee you with that, but it won't hurt. Um, we loved, every company loves to see people who are passionate about their products and excited. Other bloggers love to see people who love their work. So you're not taking away from yourself by sharing. You're just adding to the file. Hey, Monica. Oh, look at all my friends. Hi. Hi. This makes me so happy. So share. Share the wealth. Talk about projects you love. Talk about other people's work. Talk about company stuff. That can only make things better. Will it? Will I guarantee it'll get you a spot on the design team? No. But companies will recognize your name and they'll appreciate your your efforts. Betty! Um, <clears throat> okay. Now let's talk about... Oh, and one last thing. I have had this problem over the years, um, but what brought it to mind is a girlfriend of mine who works um, for one of the few remaining craft magazines in this country. Super talented girl. I mean, her projects just blow me away. <clears throat> we got together. Excuse me while I drink some water. Out of my Walking Dead cup. Thank you. We got together a few months ago for a girls weekend. And she was telling me, she's one of those people that like, I can only hope to be. Yeah, see? Everybody knows. She's one of those people that her projects are just amazing. She's a card maker by skill. That's her gift. <clears throat> she was trying out for a design team and was terrified that she was not going to make it. Terrified. Like, that's all she could think about all weekend. She was just waiting on pins and needles. I've done this. She does this. I think a lot of you probably do this. I, and I want to say this in a way that it does not sound weird. I'm back. Okay, good. I was just getting ready to say there was a crisis. Um, I, I'm very fortunate to have lots of friends in this industry that are very, hey, Joy, very well-known, very successful, very popular. And I tend to look at their blogs and their projects and think I'm not good enough. Don't forget that there are other people in the industry. So, of course, you want to look up and look out to aspire but also don't forget to just look around, just around you at other people. Um, and I, oh, and here comes the UPS man delivering my box. Everyone just ignore while the doorbell rings. Oh, it's a big box. I wonder what it is. And the dogs aren't home, so there'll be no barking. How does, oh, Jen the has got a question. I'd love to know how you think being on a design team fits into a career path. Are, you, are my audio and video back? Well, then are we having crisis? Um, is my audio and video back? I hope so. Uh, what do you mean by how does it being on design fee fit? You mean making money and stuff? Right, write down what you want me to, what you're asking, and I'll answer. Um, so, so look up at people you that inspire you and that you aspire to be like, but also don't treat, don't beat yourself up so badly and think you're the worst person in the world because the people you're comparing yourself to are. Heidi Swap and, you know, Graphic 45 and Amber from Damask Glove is one of my good friends and her stuff's amazing. And I look at that and I think, oh my God, I suck. But then I remember, you don't actually suck. Like, you're not a terrible person. So remember, remember that when you're looking. Um, I'm actually going to talk about that, Jennifer Preet. Oh, you're so good. Okay, so let's talk now about the actual application process and when you're applying for design teams. Um, Again, I'm sorry if some of this seems like common sense, but it has gone down lately um, when we just did the design team blog post. <clears throat> Follow the directions of the application process. <laughs> what does that mean? Um, and, and know what you're agreeing to up front. Oh, you guys are so welcome. <clears throat> Fill in all the blanks on the application. If they ask specific questions, Zyron had three or four questions specifically to Zyron. What machines do you use? Which one is your favorite? answer those. You have to answer those if they're asking for a reason. Um, do not copy and paste, like I mentioned before. Spell the name of the company correctly, as I mentioned before. Um, <clears throat> make it so that it is obvious that you have filled out this application just for this company. If it's sort of a standard, you know, you don't include anything personal or anything about why you love that company, we can smell that. <laughs> we can smell that from a mile away. Um, also, 
so the Zyron design team required, you had to have a blog, you had to have uh, Instagram, and you had to be on Facebook. You didn't have to have a Facebook page, a separate page for your business, but you had to be on Facebook. I can't tell you how many people who sent us private messages or applied and said, oh, like I said before, oh, I don't have a blog, but I'll start one if you hire me, or I haven't posted anything in six months, but I will if you pick me. No, that's, <laughs> that's not how it works. Um, make sure that you're active, make sure you've been posting, follow the directions. If, if there's something on the directions that you don't do, realize that that's going to affect whether you're chosen or not. It doesn't mean you're bad at design teams. It just means that that specific design team might not be for you. Um, don't ask for special treatment. We had, Zyron is a company, we pay our designers, they get free product and we pay them as well. It's not a huge sum, but we, we do pay. Um, we had one person say that she would only do it if we paid her more. Well, <laughs> that's, don't, don't ask for special treatment, I guess is what I'm trying to say. If it sounds appealing to you, great. If it doesn't, don't apply. You don't have to apply. This isn't a life or death career making decision. If it's going to make you happy, great. If it's going to be a struggle and a fight because you don't have the kind of social media they use or you think they're not paying enough, just don't do it. Just don't do it. Um, hold on, Jennifer's reading me something. Oh, yes. See, I, yeah, I was talking about that earlier. Um, copying and pasting where someone said they loved our paper. But um, so, and so then also, no, are they paying in product only? Do they also pay cash? Do they have bonuses if you get published? Most companies will have all that information in the beginning. So make sure you know what you're getting into before you fill out the, um, before you fill out the application. Number two, know why you're doing it. This goes back to, I think what Jennifer was asking, um, about the passion, you're not going to get rich being on design teams. It's just the truth. Design teams are a great launch pad for people. We have had several people on design, Zyron design teams in the past couple of years who have gone on to have their own collections, um, who have gone on to get, um, their own web series, who have gone on to become, um, spokespeople for other large companies. So no, you're not going to get, who have gone on to become design team coordinators for other companies as well. So no, you're not going to get rich off of it, but it's a great stepping off point. And for the companies that pay, it's a great way to earn a little extra money doing something you already love. Um, but you have to be in it for the passion. Julie and I had someone on the design team recently, not anymore, um, who she had beautiful projects. She said all the right things. We added her to the design team, and from day one, she did just, just exactly what she was required <clears throat> to do. I mean, to the letter. Didn't post on other designers' projects. Wasn't involved in any of our social media stuff. Just did the bare minimum required, because all she wanted was a little bit of money and the free product, and she wasn't passionate about the company. And guess what? She didn't get invited back. Um, so you have to be in it because you're passionate about it. There's a little bit of money in it. It can open the door to a lot of bigger things, but there has to be passion. You have to do it because you love it. Um, be you. I, excuse my French, am a shit show in real life and on television, and I'm the same exact person both places. I'm the same person online. Um, you need to do that as well. You can't apply for a design team because you think they want someone like Heidi Swap when you're more like Tim Holtz, if that makes sense. Um, you know, somebody who, you can't be somebody who sends in clean, crisp, white, bright projects, and then you sign up for the design team, and all of a sudden you've got grunge and paint and mixed media fantasticalness. Just be you. Just be you. Personality-wise, project-wise, just be you. That's all we're asking. Um, Okay, so now let's talk about what happens once you, and this is just gonna be real quick, um, what happens once you get on a design team? <laughs> so these are just a couple tips. Hi! Um, Linda asked if you could be on a design team if you're on your own business, heck yeah. As long as you, the design, the company knows about it. Um, I own my own business, <laughs> I want a design team, not really. Um, but yes, you can, we have, um, two people 
who actually have their own collection. I'm sitting on a bouncy ball if it looks like weird things are happening. Um, have their own collection and continue to be on our design team. Um, we also have, last year we had a girl who worked for a huge manufacturer, a different manufacturer, and she was on our design team too. So you can, as long as the design team knows, you're in, you're good. Um, let's see, what's everybody else doing? I think I should say, okay. So real quick then, the two things you need to remember once you get on a design team, keep your commitments. If you are supposed to blog twice a week or twice a month, do it. If you are supposed to let somebody know when your blog post goes live, do it. If you are supposed to like pictures on the company's Instagram page, do it. Um, just do it. Just keep your commitments because Julie and I both can tell you. If there are people we love and are passionate about the company and do great work and are our biggest cheerleaders, we will keep them around as long as we possibly can. And we will refer them out to our friends in other industries. Julie, yeah. Oh, Kathy, yes, good point. Promote your partner, your design team partners, and um, the other people that work with you. Companies, Julie and I have done this tons of times. We'll get um, requests from magazines. Hey, we'd love to feature Zyron, blah, blah, blah. You know who we ask to do the projects to be featured in those magazines, the people that are clearly passionate about our product, the people who turn in their stuff on time, that's who gets the good. So be keep your commitments because it's the right thing to do, but also because you don't know where that could take you moving forward. Um, does your Facebook page have to be craft oriented? It does, it doesn't necessarily, um, from a Zyron design team perspective, we can't, when we, link to our designers projects we can link to their work page their craft page um not to their personal page so it helps you to get tagged more by other businesses and helps to keep your stuff different um just on a personal note i i have a personal page and i have a work page um not that i don't want to be friends with everybody but i have almost eight thousand people on my business page and I have about a thousand friends if that was all in my personal page including my mom who loves to write hilarious stuff on there anyway to try to manage all of that together would be overwhelming so you also want to think ahead yes maybe you only have 50 friends that you think would like your page in the beginning but what if you grow what if you become like this huge star this huge crafting celebrity whatever and then you have to try to separate it out so think about it that way if that makes sense you don't have to do it but it does get helpful it's more helpful as you get um more involved in the business um so yes keep your commitments promote your other design team members um be the cheerleader that the company needs because that's what that's what we want from you that's what we're that's why we chose you because we love you and you're passionate so be sure you do that um and like I said before, if you're in just for the product, it'll show those people don't get invited back. They may have great work, but they'll never get chosen for extra projects. Um, they'll never be put forward to other companies as, hey, or if we've had a couple times companies say, hey, we'd like to do a video series. We'd like to have someone do a video for us. Who do you think we put out there? We put out the designers that are happy, involved, active on social media, turn in their stuff on time. So be that person. That's all I'm asking. Be that person. Um, I think that's all I got. Does anybody have, let's see. Yeah, Jennifer's made some good points on, on the right, on the um, comment section. But if anybody doesn't have, if you guys have questions, you're more than welcome to ask them. Otherwise, we're free. Um, I can't think of anything else. I hope it's been helpful. Um, Oh, almost 40 minutes. I do like to talk about stuff. But if you have any questions, please post. You're so welcome. Um, post them here and I'll be happy to answer. I'm getting on a plane shortly, so we'll answer as I can. But I appreciate you guys coming. This was actually very fun. I was very nervous at the beginning, but now it's very fun. And um, have a fantastic weekend. It's my 15th anniversary today, so we're going to Philadelphia for the weekend. Boop, boop. Okay, I'm off. You guys be off. It'll take me like 15 minutes to figure out how to turn this off, but I appreciate you guys so much. This was good. I will talk to you later. Have a great weekend.